All right, scenario five, texting. A woman says, when I text you, I know your phone is on, is on you, and you, and I expect a quick reply, okay? If a girl, and I'm thinking about this more, yeah, some girls will say this when you're just like meet, you know, dating in the dating stage and just casually dating. But if you have like girlfriends, wife, fiancés, this is especially true, where a woman will say like she has rules, like, well, I expect, you know, I know your phone is on you. When I text you, I know you see your phone. And I know it's on you, so I expect a quick reply. You can give me a quick reply. I'm your girlfriend. I'm your wife. I'm your fiance. I deserve that. You better, you know, text me back when I send you a text. <laughs> uh, and you know what? A lot of guys easily just fall into this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I <laughs> I know a lot of guys right now in the same the situations with the girlfriend, fiance, or wife, and they're more like, Dude, I'm just going to do it because it's easier to send a text back right here checking in than to deal with her being angry and withholding sex from me, right? That Again, that's the mentality you'll have. I'd rather just succumb right now than put up with the storm she's going to um, give me later on for not texting her back quickly. And again, that guy is living in that mindset that sex is a reward that he gets from women. Because again, a lot of times those guys, eventually if they try to hold strong, they try to stand their ground, and the girl is just like, well, fine, you're sleeping on the couch. Fine, you're not going to get any for a bit. And then that's the that's the thing that she always has over a guy. So again, when you, the quicker you can use sex as like, sex is not that has no power over me, then you won't fall into all these other traps like these guys that are literally just like, dude, it's e just it's easier for me to reply right now than to deal with this later on because I don't want to have to deal with all of this crap. Okay, so just filter this. Think of this filter, all right? Think you meet a brand new guy, all right? A, a, a new guy you meet and man says, hey, when I text you, I know your phone's on you and I expect a quick reply from you. Just think of one of your buddies said that to you. Now, not as like a joke, you know, not as like a one time, like, dude, come on, text me back real quick. It's like if the guy like demands it, like, hey, I sent you a text. Why didn't you check in with me? I sent you a text. I expect, why didn't you reply really quickly? I know you had your phone on you. Imagine if a guy tried to play that game with you. You would be like, dude, get off my jock. You're annoying me. Chill out, man. You're needy. Get off of me. You wouldn't put up with that. Yet, when it becomes a woman, a lot of guys put up with that. And a lot of guys use that excuse of like, she's crazy. She's emotional, right? I don't understand her. So I'm just going to do this to get it over with. <laughs> and again, that's because women have this power over him. And then he becomes screwed long term. But if you can trick yourself into this, like you feel guilty for not texting her back. That's another thing that guys will, you know, we'll talk about for a bit. Like a girl, maybe a guy slept with a girl. And then he's like, okay, I feel really guilty that I didn't text her back. Or I feel really guilty I didn't send her a text out of the blue, like checking in on her. And I understand why we have this. I understand why it's social norms. But when I can like logically break it up and just be like, okay, well, all right, blah, blah, blah. If this guy in your life did this to you, would you still feel guilty? And he's like, no, not at all. Why do you feel guilty with a woman? Again, that's when you're treating a woman differently than you would treat someone else simply because... She's a woman. That's part of putting a woman on a pedestal. The sex is worse after you commit. That's what Chad Hart says. I, Chad Hart, I don't know. I haven't committed. <laughs> I, I have not committed. It's been so long that uh, I don't know, but I will take you. I'll believe you on that. Oh, guys, actually, this is a good time to pop in this side story. Uh, yesterday, we had a one of those like um, Zoom uh, meetings. I don't know if you guys have done this with some buddies or some people do this at work. You have like a social, a happy hour where you're getting on video chat during the quarantine and, uh, you know, drinking some beers and just chatting, catching up with people. So, uh, we had some buddies on last night and, uh, I asked a question and most of these men were married. And I like laughed because one of the guys was about to leave and he goes, <laughs> He goes, 
<laughs> he's like, all right, I gotta go, guys. It's time to. Uh, it's time for me to try to have sex with my wife and get you know turned down. It's about that time of the night. <laughs> like it was like a laughing. It was a joke that everybody laughed at, including me, because I understand the dynamics. A lot of the other guys that were married totally just cracking up. Like, oh, we understand. We feel you. We get it. Because <laughs> he's, he's like, I, I got to sign up. I got to try. And then he mentioned that he's like, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to start a spreadsheet. And I, I, I know that I saw other guys actually did this, that they tracked on a spreadsheet how many times they tried to have sex with their wife and she turned him down and what reason they gave. And then this guy even mentioned, he's like, yeah, it's about time for me to start the spreadsheet uh, of like marking every time he tries. And then for fun, I just... Uh, I just asked the question. I was like, all right, married guys, you know, just a question for the single guy here. Uh, how often or how quickly after you got married did the sex dry up? <laughs> and a lot of the guys didn't really want to answer. You can kind of tell they were like kind of laughing, but like looking around at someone else to take the answer. And then a few of the guys got honest and were like, oh, well, let's see. Uh, how long was the honeymoon? He's like, yeah, that sounds about right. After the seven days after the honeymoon. Yep. Or after the first 10 days of marriage, yep, it, it dried up um, pretty big. But it was one of those things where all the guys like laughed at it because they knew it was true um, of one of those things that like once you get married, guys, like uh, that is the last hold. The last thing that you have to hold over a woman to keep her behaving well is the marriage thing. If you give her that, her incentive to behave well completely goes out the door and since most guys are going into these relationships in a very emotional love sense like i love her and it's very emotional guys don't want to believe that but when you look at it rationally or logically it makes complete sense that is her biggest bargaining power she has over most men her entire life again if you're most men and you use like sex as a reward that a woman gives you which is why if you can embody that mindset that sex that has no power over you in that sense um this game can't be ran on you as well either but think about that logically the biggest thing she has from you is to get that commitment that marriage so once you give it to her it doesn't get better it will only get worse a lot of guys go man we're in a rough spot right now so getting married will get her off my back that's all she's ever wanted and it will finally be bliss and any married guys here in the chat can probably um, speak to this that it's that's not the way it goes once you get married it doesn't mean there's nothing else she ever wants in the world because that's all she wanted all it means is marriage was that monkey on her back that she finally got off her back and now she's going to point out every little thing about you that she wants you to change because now she no longer has marriage to look forward to so now she looks around at what else can she try to change in the relationship <laughs> slow death man slow death don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe.